Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation will be on Proposition 2 of Book 6. This proposition actually is two, one being the converse or inverse of the other. The first part of this proposition states that if I have a triangle ABC and I cut the triangle with a line that is parallel to the base, so DE is equal to BC, then the ratio of the line segments of the sides, AD to DB, will be equal to the ratio of AE to EC. Conversely, if we have a triangle that has been cut such that the line segments are proportional, in other words, we've cut it such that AD to DB is equal to AE to EC, then the line that's been used to cut the triangle, DE, will be parallel to BC. So our first proof, we're going to start with the assumption that DE is parallel to BC. And then we are going to prove that the line segments are proportional. So we draw lines from BE to DC. And now let's look at two triangles. DBE and DEC. Now DE is the base and DE is the base for both triangles. The height is the same for both triangles since DE and BC are parallel, which means that the two triangles are equal in area. So BDE is equal to CDE. That's Proposition 38 of Book 1. Now let's add a third property, the area of the triangle ADE. Now ADE is equal to ADE, obviously it's the same thing, and BDE is equal to CDE. And according to Proposition 7 of Book 5, if we have two things that are equal, and we take a third thing, the ratios between the first two things that are equal and the third thing will also be equal. So here we have two things that are equal, and we are going to basically say add in, so we have BDE is equal to CDE, and Proposition 7 of Book 5 basically says if we add in a ratio of something, I'm going to call it X, X, that this will always be true. So that's what we've done here, is we've taken these two that are equal, and we've added a third and said that the ratios to this third thing will also be equal. All right, so now let's look at these two triangles, ADE and BDE. According to Proposition 1 of this book, if we have two triangles with the same height, then the ratio of the two triangles to each other will be equal to the ratio of their base lengths. So BD to DE, sorry, BD to DA will be equal to the area BDE to the area ADE. Again, that's just from the previous proposition. Likewise, we have two triangles and they have the same height. So the ratio of the two triangles, of the area of two triangles, will be the same ratio as their respective bases. So CE to EA, which is their basis, is going to be equal to CDE to ADE. Again, this is from the previous proposition. Let's look at what we have here. We have a whole bunch of ratios. We have BD to DE is equal to BD ADE. So I've just rewritten that here. But BDE to ADE is equal to CDE to ADE. So I've just taken that and I've written that here. So now we have CDE equals ADE. Well, CDE to ADE is equal to CE to AE. So I've written it here. So 
here is the relationship between all of our ratios. And because it's transitive, I can just knock this bit out here to leave us with that BD to DA is equal to CE to EA. So there we have shown that if DE to BC is parallel, then BD to DA will be equal to EC to AE. On to the next proof. So now we're doing it the inverse. We're stating a priori that BD to DA is equal to EC to AE. So BD to DA, if BD to DA, that ratio is also going to be equal to the ratio of the two triangles, given that the fact that they have the same height. And we're going to do the same thing here. These two are have the same ratio as the respective triangles because they have the same height. So therefore, we have these two guys are equal, which means these two are equal. And if these two ratios are equal, it means, and ADE is the same on both, that gives us that BDE is equal to CDE. That all comes from Proposition 9 of Book 5. If BDE is equal to CDE, so BDE equal to CDE, so now I'm stating that these two triangles are equal. If they are equal, they must be on the same parallels, according to Proposition 39 of Book 1. So if they're on the same parallels, then DE is equal, or DE is parallel to BC. So here we've just sh shown the proof that if the ratio of this to this is equal to the ratio of that to that, then the line DE and BC are parallel.